As we grow older, we gain some new abilities, but we also lose some. While these 10 individuals we have for you today all developed new traits as they got older too, there's just one big difference. In every case, an event or accident resulted in each of them developing some form of superhuman power or ability. From head injuries to lightning strikes, you never know where the latest X-Men will come from. To gain access to our secret superhero base, we need you to hit that red button disguised as a subscribe button, then activate the notifications so the team can get in touch with you at a moment's notice. Franco Magnani Thanks to comic books, we know that such things as nuclear waste and gamma rays can turn regular people into figures with incredible power. We're pretty sure that standing in a puddle of toxic waste is really bad for you and unlikely to give you any sort of real life powers. Yet the story of Franco Magnani suggests that if you get really sick, it could open up some new abilities. Years ago, this Italian immigrant was struck down with illness. It was so severe that he suffered seizures and potential brain damage. Yet when all was said and done, Magnani came through with an interesting talent. He could suddenly paint images of his boyhood village in Italy with accuracy you'd expect to see in a photograph. It's believed the illness he had altered a part of his brain and opened up the ability to see old memories with incredible detail. Even more fascinating was that Magnani hadn't been to his hometown of Pontito, Italy for over 30 years, yet his paintings were incredibly accurate. While today he's retired, you can still see examples of his art often sitting next to a real image in order to get an idea of the detail. Derek Amato Back in 2006, Derek Amato was your typical bro, hanging out by the pool and partying with his friends. Then, like many guys, he decided to try and leap into the pool while a buddy threw him a ball. It didn't go so well and Amato suffered a big time concussion. Weeks later, it became clear that the then 39-year-old had lost some hearing and memory from the accident. Yet he picked up one surprising skill. While visiting a friend, Amato saw a musical keyboard. Despite never playing a piano or keyboard in his life, Amato sat down and let his fingers do the rest. To the disbelief of his friend, he played the instrument effortlessly, as if he'd been playing for years. Thanks to the concussion, Amato had what is believed to be savant syndrome. Basically, the accident altered his brain and, in Derek's case, reorganized it in such a way that operating a piano was second nature. While he still suffers from occasional headaches and sensitivity, Amato says he wouldn't go back and change a thing. We guess he appreciates his newfound power. Kimberly Gordon Some superheroes harness the power of electricity to get the job done. Unfortunately, there aren't any cases of humans harnessing lightning bolts and shooting them out to destroy objects or enemies. There are, however, many cases of people getting hit by lightning and suffering painful effects. Then there's Kimberly Gordon. In 2013, Kimberly was still in the womb of her mother, Kendra Villanueva. During a storm, Kendra decided it was a good idea to seek shelter under a tree. That's actually, fun fact, a terrible idea, as Villanueva discovered when lightning struck the tree. The incident resulted in the mother-to-be having an emergency C-section to remove Kimberly. Still alive, the newborn suffered from some neurological damage that impairs her ability to crawl or sit up. Yet it did provide one interesting side effect. Kimberly's hair stands straight on end as if permanently charged with electricity. Even years after the incident, that has now continued to be the case. Now, we here at The Richest aren't 100% sure if the little girl has any powers as a result of this. However, crazy out of control hair, an emergency birth, and a mother subjected to high voltage, those all sound like the perfect ingredients for any X-Men origin storyline. Nikolai Kragliachenko while we're on the topic of X-Men, who is your favorite? Since we're a little evil at times and also fans of Michael Fassbender and Sir Ian McKellen, we'd have to say that we're partial to Magneto. After all, what isn't awesome about being able to fly and manipulate metal objects to your will? In any event, Magneto isn't real, but we think we found one kid who is working his way in that direction. Meet Nikolai Kragliachenko a typical Russian teen with a rather unusual ability. While walking home from school one day, Nikolai stopped and leaned briefly against a lamppost. The next thing he knew, he was flung across the road. It turns out the lamppost wasn't grounded properly and gave the Russian a mighty jolt of electricity. But Nikolai didn't have a sense of his new power until he woke up the next morning. It was then he found some coins attached to his body. No doubt excited to harness his powers for evil, I mean, we mean good, the boy started seeing what else would attach to his body. As you can see, metal has no trouble attaching itself to him. While some think 
him to be a human magnet, others have stated that people like Nikolai just have sticky skin. We say give him a cape and a helmet and see how far he can push these new powers. Rory Curtis As you've seen already, unexpected events and accidents can leave people noticeably changed and even possessing new skills or powers. Rory Curtis falls into this category, although with a bizarre twist. The 25-year-old was driving one day when he got into an accident. The impact was so severe that Curtis was in a coma for several days. Thankfully, he came out of it with some interesting new side effects. First off, Curtis had magically developed the ability to speak fluent French. This despite the fact that he had only taken a few French lessons 12 years before the accident. Second and most strange was the fact that this semi-professional soccer player now believed he was Matthew McConaughey. Well, it could have been worse. He could have come out of the coma thinking he was Justin Bieber with the ability to speak Klingon. In all seriousness, years after the accident, Curtis still has the ability to speak fluent French, although he no longer thinks he's an Oscar winner. He says he realized it once he looked in the mirror and saw who he was. We think the mere fact that he was able to keep his shirt on and had no desire to drive a Lincoln was surefire proof that he wasn't the famous Texan. Time to see if you can harness your powers for our quiz. As you've likely seen, brain injuries are responsible for a few people developing superpowers. Do you know how many people in the US suffer a head or brain injury every year? We'll tell you the answer after showing you a few more people who got powers in unusual ways. Jason Paget. Let's face it, a lot of us absolutely hated taking math in school. Between algebra, trigonometry, and calculus, more than a few of us were thankful the moment class was done. Then there's Jason Paget. Several years ago, Jason was a typical jock who loved to party and go to the bars. One night, a trip to the local venue resulted in a fight. Paget was badly beaten by a couple of other guys and suffered some serious brain damage. Yet, like a script from a feel-good Hollywood blockbuster, the beating turned Paget from jock to genius. He now had the ability to see the math and numbers around him. To the amazement of mathematicians and physicists, Paget could draw mathematical fractals and equations with amazing accuracy. He said he saw everything as triangles, lines, and angles. Of course, those who don't get math see his designs and think, huh, neat. Mathematicians are better able to appreciate that Paget has a real-life beautiful mind. Encouraged to go back to school, this is one former jock who went from cheating on tests to solving problems without even thinking about them. Edwin Robinson in the X-Men comics, the ever-popular Wolverine is known for a few key things. These include having a body infused with adamantium, having long claws that shoot out of his hands, and the ability to heal himself rapidly. Edwin Robinson didn't have any adamantium or claws, but an incident did allegedly lead to some self-healing of various body parts. Robinson was in generally good health, except for the fact that a vehicular accident had robbed him of his sight. In addition, as many elderly people find, he required the use of a hearing aid. One day, while outside, a storm moved in and the Portland native sought shelter under a tree. Such a rookie mistake. Or was it? Lightning struck close by and went through Robinson. The jolt knocked him unconscious and fried his hearing aid. When he came to, he found his way back to the house and took a nap because, well, lightning strikes make you sleepy. That evening, he got up and came out into the living room. Amazingly, he could see. Double amazingly, he could also hear his wife, even though he had no hearing aid in. Doctors suggest this rejuvenation was down to the trauma he suffered from the high voltage blast. Tony Chicoria. Back in the days before cell phones, people had to use something called a pay phone. Ugh, thank goodness those days are gone. In any event, in the mid 90s, Tony Chicoria was using one of these public pay phones when a blast of lightning struck. The bolt came out of the phone and hit Chikoria's face, knocking him back unconscious. He described the following moments as an out-of-body experience where he watched as a nearby nurse began trying to resuscitate him. It must have worked because Tony came shooting back to the side of the living, with a bonus feature. You see, it's not just enough to survive a lightning strike and an out-of-body experience. Chikoria went one step further and developed a strong liking for all things piano. Now, he had never had any strong ties to music before. In fact, he was never interested in piano or songs with pianos in them. After the accident, however, he just started composing and playing music as if he'd been a master pianist for all of his life. In 2007, he performed his first composition, and it was fittingly titled The Lightning Sonata. Orlando Serrell 
In the DC Universe, Batman has many villains. One of the strangest is Calendar Man, a villain who strikes on days of importance. Orlando Serral isn't a supervillain, but he does have a similar interest as Batman's rival. When he was just 10 years old, Serral was doing what a lot of kids do, playing baseball. However, at one point in the game, the ball struck him in the side of the head. He didn't seem to be too hurt and kept right on playing. Over the following days, he suffered from some minor headaches, but when these subsided, he discovered that he had some impressive calendar-related skills. For instance, if you give Serral a specific date, like July 4th, 1776, he could instantly tell you that it fell on a Thursday. In addition, for every single day after the accident, if you give him an exact date, Serral can tell you the day, the weather, and exactly what he was doing. Like others we've mentioned in this video, the strike to the head caused a reorganization and change in the way Serral's brain processes information. Adam Rayner At the richest, people fascinate us, and you probably get that from all of the videos ranging from the biggest to the fastest to the smallest of people. This is where Adam Rayner comes in. A very special case, you could say a certain incident had enormous consequences for Rayner. This Australian-born man stood out because for his early life he was believed to have suffered from dwarfism. At his tallest, he came in at around four and a half feet. Then, at the age of 21, things changed. Although no one knew it then, Rayner developed a benign tumor on his pituitary gland. In this sense, the event that would change him wasn't external like lightning, but internal. This development caused the short man to grow like a weed. Over the next decade, he grew to an incredible seven feet and one inch in height. Like a real-life Hulk, he continued to grow into an absolute giant of a man. Even after the tumor was removed, Rayner kept growing and measured in at an official 7 feet 8 inches at the time of his passing. Ultimately, he is the only human to have ever been classified as both a dwarf and a giant during a lifetime. So, do you know how many people suffer from some sort of brain or head injury in the U.S. every year? The answer, 1.7 million. According to the Center for Disease Control, 80% are released after treatment, while over a quarter million have to spend some time in the hospital. Unfortunately, there's no CDC stats for how many developed incredible powers. Well, as your spidey senses are likely telling you, we're at the end of our show for today. As always, you are more than welcome to stick around and check out all of our other awesome videos that we have. We add new ones every day just for you. In fact, to make sure that you never miss out, Click on that subscribe button before you head out for the day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.